what you're watching is a rocket being sculpted by a giant 3D printer. This really is creating the Star Trek replicator sci-fi feature that we have seen in movies for many decades, but no one has tried to build at this scale yet, um, but we're doing it. Tim Ellis is the co-founder and CEO of Relativity Space. Ellis believes his team has found a way to make cheaper and more reliable rockets using their 3D printers they've named Stargate. And what are the advantages of 3D printing a rocket? Yeah, so the advantages really are around automation and part count reduction. So usually and really for the last 60 years, you still walk into any aerospace factory around the world rockets or otherwise, and they're still building products one at a time by hand with millions of individual piece parts and these giant factories full of fixed tooling. That takes billions of dollars and years to set up and iterate and change. And so really the 3D printing approach we're doing is the holy grail for automation and aerospace. And printing rockets means relativity can build them much faster. Ellis says his team can currently print a rocket in about five months and is working to cut that build time even further. Being able to build a rocket in 60 days, 30 days, is that pace really necessary? It, it is because it's about the rate of improvement. So I think every 60 days, we can build a better version and a better version. So it's really about um, the, the kind of rate of practice because people learn much faster by doing rather than just simulating. How does your approach impact the cost of the rockets? Because rockets, as you pointed out, are incredibly expensive traditionally. Yeah, so, so versus other rockets of a similar payload class built traditionally, um, we, our, our rocket is about a quarter of the cost. Um, so other launch vehicles currently flying. This is Terran One here. Yep. This so, is your baby. Yeah, the, the, this is the baby. So, um, yeah, this is Terran One. So, it's the world's first uh, in, entirely 3D printed rocket fuselage. The company says Terran One will launch in 2022. If all goes well, it will be the first of many launch vehicles Ellis and his team will print in their Long Beach, California factory. In fact, Relativity is already hard at work on their larger reusable heavy lift rocket, the Terran R. Wow, that's a pretty serious printer right there. Yeah. Yeah, and it's really just early days too. I mean, I think that's... that's For Ellis, getting to space is just part of the mission, fundamentally changing the manufacturing process for big, expensive things like airplanes or wind turbines is just as important. So we're starting with rockets, but I really see us as the world's first application layer 3D printing company. Uh, I think 3D printing will be able to build much better products faster. It's really about increasing the speed of learning and lowering the barrier to entry for trying experiments. Three, two, one, zero. If this all sounds very ambitious, that's because it is. Ellis and many on his team have a lot of experience building rockets for firms like Blue Origin and SpaceX and have raised over a billion dollars in funding in just the last year. But Relativity has yet to put a rocket into space. You guys are building rockets in a completely different way, in an industry that is inherently risky and about reducing that risk. Have people been suspicious about this new approach? You know, we've, saw, we've sold more rockets than any other company in history before launch. So I think, you know, people are quite confident in the test data we showed them today. But the proof is in the pudding, and you guys haven't flown yet. We haven't flown yet, but all the momentum is there, and you're definitely right. We gotta, we gotta show what we've got. Um, but major parts of the rocket have already flown a, a simulated mission on the ground, and so I'm quite confident uh, we've gotten over the hump where 3D printing a rocket is now inevitable, truly inevitable.